So it wasn't enough for CNN to quadruple down on their dubious Trump Tower story. You know, the one that used Lanny Davis as their primary source. Well, they're now defending Antifa. <laughs> CNN's senior legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin, I thought was a lot smarter than this, reacting to the president's warning that liberals will violently turn back his agenda if Republicans lose in November. He specifically mentions Antifa. Let's be clear also about what's going on here. The theme here is, I'm Donald, Donald Trump and I'll protect you from the scary black people. Antifa is widely perceived as an African-American organization. Mm. This is about black versus white. This is about Donald Trump's appeal to racism. And it just happens all the time. And we never say it or we don't say it enough for what it is. But that's what's going on. I've got to say, uh, this, these are the faces of Antifa, okay? Here's some of the loveliest that were arrested um, recently for, yeah, the Berkeley uh, deal. Does this look like an oppressed black organization to you? I mean, mostly liberal white kids in scarves, headscarves. If Tubin's ham-handed attack on the president wasn't bad enough, though, anchor Don Lemon chose to just, I don't know, defend him altogether. Listen, there's, you know, no organization is perfect. There was some violence. Um, no one condones the violence, but there were different reasons for Antifa and for these neo-Nazis uh, to be there. One, racist fascists. The other group, fighting racist fascists. There is a fascist. There's a distinction there. Did he say, did he say no organization is perfect? <laughs> oh, my. I, there are moments where you just can't believe this is happening in our country. But joining me now with their reactions to what's going on over at CNN, Jeffrey Lord, former Reagan official who once worked as a CNN contributor and Chip Franklin, national talk show host and a media commentator. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Lord, let's talk with you. You worked at CNN. Uh, I've got to say, I played that tube and bite on the radio this morning. I had to have my guys play it again. But I said, I don't know. I've never in my, in my life thought of Antifa as a, uh, a black organization, uh, it, it's, a, it's mostly the anti-WTO crowd, right? The Occupy Wall Street crowd, overwhelmingly white, probably most of them privileged liberals. Correct, correct. You know, I know most of these people over there, and I like them enormously. I heard that this morning, and I almost fell out of my chair sitting in the living room. I mean, what are they smoking? I mean, this is just unbelievable to me. Uh, it, it, all you have to do is do what I can't see, but what, what I assume you just did was show some pictures here. Pay attention to these folks. Not to mention that these folks are out and out fascist. I mean, they should drop the ante and just be called fa. I mean, this is a bad group of people. They're into violence. They're into hurting people. They have no business in the American dialogue, period. And for CNN to be lending them support is mind boggling. Chip, the president today, uh, you know, expanded on the comments about violence, and he said this. I just hope there won't be violence. I can tell you that, uh, I can tell you that because that's the way, I guess, if you look at what happens, is a lot of, there's a lot of unnecessary violence all over the world, but also in this country, and I don't want to see it. No, he doesn't want to see violence, but when you see those pictures, uh, the video from Berkeley, of Trump supporters getting bashed in the head, smashing windows every time a conservative speaks on a uh, college campus, or if they're upset about some taking over ICE. It's all this, it's this craziness. How is this a racial issue on the part of CNN? Well, that's really selective, Laura, for starters. By the way, Lemon said, and you didn't have this in the quote, he said, uh, there's racists and fascists on one side, and then there's good people on the other, like in Charlottesville. Cornell West told me if it weren't for Antifa there, if they, if they hadn't been there, if Antifa had not protected them, they would have been crushed like cockroaches. Look, this country's built on violence. And this president you just played, he is the guy that set the climate. He's the guy that told the NRA they could shoot Hillary. He's the guy that told cops, why do you put prisoners in cars, not bang their heads when you, why do you lower their head? He also said that this is a nation that if you come and protest, yeah, Chip, we'll take care of you at my protest. He said he set you. the climate. I, I get you. So you just recited, Laura. which is, is very familiar, the liberal talk. Why didn't you recite anything? When, what you, you recited gotta, the I liberal ask, talking points and you deflected my point. My point is a very gotta, simple I, one. Don Lemon, Don I, Lemon, hold on, Jeff. Don Lemon made a distinction. And he made the distinction by saying that Antifa 
was in fact uh, an organization that was kind of, you know, in its own way, standing up for uh, what's right. And I'm paraphrasing here, but it, there was no, no difference there. Whether there's well, it's a, a grassroots few organization of a lot of people. Not the difference. What? It's a grassroots organization of a lot of people who are, they, look, this country's built on violence. 300 million guns in this country today. They go and they show up. Charlottesville is a classic example. They show up to stop racists. This president says, oh, there's to good stop? and okay. bad on both sides. That's Well, we, we played what? video, Jeffrey Lord, of Antifa chasing down a car after the latest uh, protests in Washington when, you know, 24 uh, uh, white uh, nationalists showed up in D.C. And then you got, you got people menacing, Laura. just regular people driving down the road. So I don't talk about how great the Antifa people are, were. In, uh, in, I'm not in saying they're Europe. great. Yeah, I'm well, saying you've got to balance the American They are left. thugs and domestic terrorists, uh, Jeffrey. Oh, and, and the, the Charlottesville left. all right. The, wait a minute. The wait Bannon, a minute. Wait Trump, a the people. Wait, no, you Hold wait. It. Trump is the one that is encouraging this. Uh, Bannon wasn't in Charlottesville, Chip. Don't sell that garbage no, but here the on the show. Chip. Come on. Oh, Chip. Uh, yeah, it's not garbage. You know what? The one-sided approach you have to this, the people on the right that are calling for violence. Trump said, he said, if the midterms go okay, the Democrats' yeah, way, you, you there's going to be you violence. You don't find a problem with that? You have that doesn't standing. bother you? you? You go back to Charlottesville. We have Antifa all across the country. Charlottesville has con been condemned, including. They don't by have the a central yes, organization. Laura. These okay. are people yeah. standing they're, up against right. the kind of violence they're, that they're you're standing propagating. for chaos and anarchy, Jeffrey. Laura, in 1968, Donald Trump was what, about 18 years old or something like that? Where was he? when the Democrats were, were under a siege at their own Democratic convention by leftist protesters. Donald Trump was nowhere near these WTO protests. He was nowhere near when, when uh, they were smashing windows in Seriously, Seattle. Seriously, you're going 19... back to 68? Mayor Daley's well, dead. You're, you're let's go back You're today. telling me this is let, Donald let Trump's you. fault? You're, te you're telling me this is Donald Trump's fault? This is in the left. Violence is, is in the DNA of the American left and always has been. You're high. This is just no, the latest look, the, incarnation. This president comes out every day and calls for violence against people what? who disagree oh, with his baloney. administration. He, well, he comes out every day. He just said, we got to tamp down on the violence. It's not good in this country, and we can't stand for it. He just... We just literally played That's the soundbite, Chip. He said. And you come out and you say, you're he like, you said. should work for CNN. I mean, I, God bless Talking you. But points. What do you, we just played the soundbite where Trump said no violence. And you say the president comes out. Again, again this, you're, this is, this is a guy that lies. He's lied 3,000 times in a year and a half. And you're going to take one soundbite and say that is exemplifies this president? Come on. You okay, know, you've so, got to be honest yeah, with yourselves. Jeff, I, think, I think, again, if, if the Democrats want to appeal to people in the middle who they need, and Republicans have their own set of challenges. You got to be very careful who's running the show on the protest front. And that applies to Charlottesville. It's about right and wrong. And it applies yeah. to Antifa. Great conversation.